Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Part 23! Part 2 of the Forest Temple, where things really go downhill. I never understood what this little tower thing in one of the side rooms was for. Block puzzles. Probably. Hey. Sir, the what, what's this tower thing in the middle in one of these side rooms for? In case the a hero, a legendary hero needs to, you know, get through here to find some ghosts in order to kill an evil demon in order to eat its heart in order to save the world. You know, and just in the label. They'll be like, they'll be like, wait, what? Hey, weren't you the same guys who worked on the water temple? <laughs> yeah. You know good. You no know good block puzzle design. All right, we'll build this mansion for you. That's my construction foreman voice. So, so it introduces you to these sort of block puzzles, and these things will be the bane of your life until you finish the water temple, and then it's like I never see them again. <laughs> not, not in a decent amount. At least. Yeah. yeah. The Forest Temple is notable in that its gimmick isn't puzzle based, really. Not necessarily. Because it does, if you, it does have quite a bit of different puzzles for, that are showcased in detail later yeah. on. So it's more of an introductory temple to the, or d yeah, temple to the new temples. Yeah. It's like, this is what you're going to be dealing with. It's going to be a little bit more complicated. These are the kind of pu these are the kind of things that you're going to have to deal with. They ease you into That's it. That sort of thing. But yeah, this will be quite annoying if you don't know what you're doing. Yes. I do leave this all in because you, you really do have to do this step by step. It requires a lot of backtracking in this part. Yes. This is very no, synonymous no, no. with, uh... With, uh... This part right here is similar to, uh... I'm trying to remember what it was. I'm He's totally trying to blanking. remember what this was while we fill up time with this, uh... Block puzzle. I totally had it had it in my head what I'm, I was about to compare it to, but now it's gone. Oh my god! See, Hellfire Comms probably wouldn't have this much trouble with their commentary. Okay, well, let's see what's up here. If you didn't catch it yet, we want to be Hellfire Comms, but we fail miserably. Some of us more than others. You know, usually that's a jab at another person, but not this time. Nope. Oh god, we got two of these things in here. You'll probably want to kill them just to get them out of your way. Especially a little later. Because yes, you will be back in this room. At least twice more. Yeah. Doink. I just slash at him immediately. I don't go for the jump strike. So yeah, the One hit that kill, man. See that eye above the door? That's important. It's oh the god. Twisted hallway. Thanks, Navi! I didn't fucking notice that! Defying gravity! Actually, it's less defying gravity in that your perspective is what's changing. The shadows of monsters. Oh god. Wall masters. Oh god. Yes, they included wall masters. And so here is yes. the door where I got stuck on. <laughs> Also, these staircases right. become important. All four and they also become very, they, they become very confusing. Difficult. Yes, it's like I. You feel like like wait, I was just in a room that looked pretty much exactly like this. And they're at each corner of the mansion for no reason other than that they needed a staircase. Another Stalfos. Yep. 
but you just faced two. How is one any harder? Uh, the fact that uh, he can uh, hover over that uh, hole in the ground. He's like Brooke from One Piece. <laughs> Jokes that nobody gets. See, Not even me. Brooke from One Piece is a Devil Fruit user. Normally, Devil Fruit users drown whenever they touch oh, the shit. water. That but was close. He, but because he is little more than a skeleton, yet retained all his physical strength from when he was alive, he is able to run across the water and jump very high. See, look at that. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. I knew you were going to say that, but I just couldn't avert it. G.I. Joe! The timing was way terrible. And now there's two, two more. See, this is the challenge. They have to fight off, fight three after potentially falling into a pit. Yep. Several times. Okay. Now the thing here is they will just become... They will just be like, I feel so alone, gonna end up big old pile of damn bones. And if you don't kill the other one quick enough, it reforms. It's kind of like the, uh... It helps, it helps that they reform when they don't fucking attack. It's kind of like those, uh, Twilight creatures from, uh... They have to fight as Wolf Link and combo with Midna. What I like to do is weaken them down to one hit and then go after one and then go after the other. It's kind of like the uh, the one strategy in the uh, f first boss of Link to the Past, because the last one, uh, the last of the those uh, huge armos will jump around. So with the last two, you just fire two arrows into both of them, yeah. and then it just makes it less annoying. The Stalfos are notable in that they they pretty much have the same moves as Link, except they're bigger. Yep. Like that treasure chest. And what is our reward for clearing this room? Probably one of my favorite dungeon items. Other than Hells the shot. Yeah. Which Hells technically yeah. isn't a dungeon item. Nope. It's the, the hero's bow. bow or the fairy bow, whatever. It's not it's just it's there are different adjectives each game. Yep. I can't skip this text. Fuck. There we go. But yeah, you know that. I in front of the yeah. door yep. to the twisted hallway. Yep. Guess what we use on it? <laughs> Not the hook shot. Nope. You'll try that. It won't work. Yeah, it won't work. Also, okay. like, the arrows are the only thing that can hurt the ghosts. Well, at least while they're in the paintings. Yeah. See, this game has paintings. It's Friggin' Luigi's Mansion. With ghosts in them. Plus, oh, I hate the I hate this. I really do hate the paintings. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You can't, you really... There's four of them. And you have to be quick. Nah, uh, there's three of them. I thought there was one at the bottom of the stairs, too. I don't believe so. Shit. Oh, just three. Oh. Well, uh... Oh, you find him in the bottom. Yeah. I just arrow him. Arrow doesn't fucking work. Only when they're invisible. Nope. No. Well, I was wrong. Idiot. Oh, you say that like I'm never wrong. Wow, thanks. He, he's like, oh, you're always wrong. I hate my family. <laughs> yeah, arrows didn't work the first time. It won't work the 15th time. <laughs> Maybe it'll work the 16th time. Nope, not then either. Fuck this. Yeah, you can't hit them while they're invisible, so just wait till they're visible. The logic in this game. Just keep that fucking shield up. I, believe I swear to God. All, all four ghosts are female and they're sisters. Yep, they are the Poe sisters. 
much different than the collectible pose that you need to find post time skip for a certain challenge quest thing. Which is annoying as hell. Because, like, they disappear quickly and you need your... One was right outside Hyrule Castle. And you know what? I never knew why you could stab him with your sword until I realized yeah, the sword is of evil's bane. So yes. logically, since the ghosts aren't necessarily good, it will kill them to death. Well, this is the third big treasure chest in this room. Guess what we got? Hey. The compass, of course. It's actually useful now. Yeah. Now we know where we need to go and where we've been and how we got yep. here. Okay, let's see what's up here. Oh, a locked door. Well, that's friggin' helpful. Oh, yes, you cannot jump down across the banister. Nope. Which really makes sense. Okay. Open. Time to go across the Stalfos room and find another Poe sister. Just a random tower. It's an epic battlefield. Fuck's sake. Seriously? Yeah, whatever. So, uh... I know there's history behind each of the temples, and I know this is a mansion, and I'm assuming it's a mansion for the royal family. Paid by the taxpayers. Of course. Because that would make it the perfect place for a temple in this game, because, like, all the temples are pretty damn sinister. Alright. Oh, shit. I... Where the hell? What's going on now? Oh, it's over here. That's right. Fuck's sake. Seriously? Yeah, I'm right in the middle between two of them. That's fucking great. I don't think it can leave this, the third one, can it? Doink! Alright, same deal. I am a hero, stabbing, stabbing ghost. Stabby, stabby ghost. Stabby, stabby ghost. The only people who watch Blue Zephos Minecraft LPs know that song. Know the song I'm referencing, and we all know how you feel about Minecraft. You've seen one Minecraft video. You've seen every single Minecraft video in existence, unless it's about creations in Minecraft. Then a lot of them are pretty cool. Like I made a one-to-one -one scale replica of Pike's Peak in my copy of Minecraft. Why? All right. Cuz I fucking could. Let's see what's in here. I bought no, I didn't buy. I looked up a like uh you know those maps that show the elevation of different areas based yeah. on different measurements uh vertically and horizontally. I did a 1 meter by 1 meter one for those. So I could recreate it in Minecraft. Took me like two days to do. Okay. Let's go back across. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <sighs> wall masters. Yeah, yep. it's just best to wait for the wall master. Or climb the stairs. Yeah. Is that way you're safe? They're not because what because what what do wall masters do in this game, just so people know? I believe they send you back to the beginning of the du dungeon. 